Hello everyone, and welcome back. Hey, I got a little tip from the garden. This is something that uh, most of it I have done for years, but uh, I just kind of wanted to share it with you since we went through doing all uh, the greens on the carrots and the leaves on the cauliflower and stuff like that. So this is something that I do with the cauliflower. You can also do this with broccoli also, and I'll show you. Um, I used to do it just with the broccoli, but the cauliflower works really good, and I have a feeling that you could do it with collards, anything that has that stock on the bottom that's white like this here. Uh, usually, you know, you, if you go to the store, you'll buy it like this, it'll still have some of this bottom stuff on it. This one, I just little one I just picked out of the garden. And you know, basically, you're going to use that part of it to cook with. And this part here will just go into your, well, usually just the garbage can. <laughs> you know, maybe you'll throw this out into your compost pile. If I throw it to the goats, they're not really going to eat much of it. So I'm going to show you um, what I do, and uh, hopefully you'll like it. Okay, so once you've cut off your uh, cauliflower that you're going to use, or your broccoli, like I said, it works on that, you're left with this chunk. If you take and uh, cut this down, you just have to kind of whittle away until you get down to a, that center part right there. All right, so once we get this stuff off there, we're left with this little square of white. Uh, a lot of times when the garden is like this, I like to do stir fries. I love stir fries. And uh, I, if you go and get stuff for stir fries, I mean, you can get the little baby corn if you want to spend money. And I like to get the little bamboo shoots that you put in there because pretty much anything that you put into a stir fry tastes like the stir fry. That's why it's so good. You know, that piece of broccoli doesn't taste like a piece of broccoli. It tastes like the same as the piece of meat does. So. Anyway, if you take this and cut this thin like this here, and it cuts easy because it's kind of got grain to it, cut these up into these little slices. Once we get it into slices, then you can take and slice it again like this and like this, and pretty much if you buy a can of those canned up bamboo shoots, that's what they look like. <laughs> so I do this with them all the time and throw them in there. I suppose it would work good in soups and stews for those of you that do that kind of stuff too because it just absorbs the flavoring that you get in there and like with the broccoli like I said you can do the broccoli um, you can't get as close to the outside with the broccoli because it gets a little bit stringy but you just take a chunk of it if you're getting to the outside and chew on it if it's stringy uh, throw it out you know but the middle part is nice and white like this so anyway I would use this for stir fries and I think it's great I love to cook it up so but I'm not going to take and can this because like that's I don't need much more than that in a stir fry so you don't you have to have really small jars so what I did different this year and tried it was I dehydrated it and I want to show you how that turned out. All right, so I dehydrated it. It dehydrated real nice. Gets almost kind of leathery. Real small, easy to store. But, you know, the trick to dehydrating is how does it rehydrate? <laughs> I have went through it. I can carrots. I eat carrots raw. I have dehydrated a bunch of carrots and no matter what, when I rehydrate that carrot, it is gross. So I had to try this out. So what I did is I, I dehydrated it down, just like you can see. Then I went and I put it back into water, and look what we got. Let me dump this water out and show you. It looks identical. Okay, so we got the water out now. And I mean, it looked just like that, guys. Look at that. It almost looks fresher than the stuff I just cooked. So it rehydrates really good. So. I mean, you're always throwing that stuff away. It's just one more thing you can get out of your garden. You know, people just think, oh, I got my cauliflower, and now we can do the greens. Uh, we can cut up these, I don't know if you call it the stems or whatever. Even here, once you cut this part out, this is real good and tender. You can chop that up, fry it up, dehydrate it, whatever. I don't know, take it for what it's worth. But anyway, I think it's a good tip because I do it, and uh, now I can finally do this and store it. And it's going right, to be great. Everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you at least try that tip. You don't have to dehydrate it, but at least cut that stuff up. Try to fry it, you know, give it a try, put it in a stir fry, whatever. It's really delicious. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope you learned something or at least you give it a try.